Lots of excellent questions this morning, starting with a very important and big win, which is how do I invest and how do I think you should invest? This is a longer question, and I'm going to devote a special series of videos to it next week to explain really why. But the answer is that I, after going through Wall Street, learning a ton while I was on Wall Street about stock picking and how lots of professional investors work and so forth, then spending a lot of time off Wall Street, thinking about the best ways for individuals to invest, not professionals, ultimately can came to the conclusion that there is a right answer for the vast majority of individual investors, and that is to own a portfolio, often rebalanced, of low-cost, tax-efficient index funds. And so that's what I do. It's a long answer as to why that is, but the short answer is that the simple math will tell you that the majority of investors will underperform the market because the market is the average. Once you add the costs of investing, and those costs include the costs that you're paying your mutual fund manager or the time you're spending watching Jim Cramer or the time you're spending research and, and so forth, you include all those costs, tremendously hard to be in that small percentage of investors who actually outperform the market. And I think that the general mistake that most individuals make is they vastly underestimate how hard it is to do that. There are some individuals who over time have outperformed the market, but it is extraordinarily difficult. And please never forget that your competition is the equivalent of the Super Bowl team. You are playing directly against them when you try to beat the market. You don't have to do that. You can just say, I'm going to own the market, I'm going to rebalance. If you do it di in a disciplined way, you can take all the emotion out of it. Ultimately, over the long term, study after study has suggested that that's a much smarter way of investing than trying to pick a mutual fund or trying to pick stocks. But those are long questions. I'll get into those in detail next week. Is the recession really ending? It certainly seems to be, which is great, surprised a lot of people. I am still skeptical. I think there is a good chance that we do go into a double dip recession. I think the stimulus has added a lot. The free money has added a lot. I think the Fed is going to get into a position here where they really are in a bind on whether they should pull the free money and try to kill this asset inflation that we're getting in the stock market or whether they keep it down and try to solve the unemployment problem, which is obviously tremendous. And I think that's going to put them in a bind. So I think the Best case scenario, as I see it, is a muddle through economy, uh, possibly a double dip. But obviously, the market is telling us that we're going to have a V-shaped recovery. A lot of respect for what the market is telling us. So hopefully, the market is right, and that will be the case. But I'm still skeptical about that. Um, does Megan McArdle work here now? We wish. We love Megan McArdle. But Megan McArdle is at the Atlantic. Uh, we're going to do more and more of these exchanges where we're lucky enough to have contributors from the outside putting their stuff on the site occasionally. We include a lot of links back to Megan's pieces at The Atlantic and others. But you will see Megan on the site, and you can comment here or comment there, but we're happy to have her. Uh, somebody asked, if Conan is the new Oprah, are you the new Drudge? That's a good question. I've never thought about it that way. Drudge is still the old Drudge, by the way. He, we had a link from Drudge the other day, and it's just an absolutely huge traffic fire hose. So one could do a lot worse than being the new Drudge. So maybe I should aim for that. When are you going to add a lot more cool new features to the site? We, in fact, there were some great questions this morning about specific features and what we should be doing. A lot of it came down to, can we have news and opinion instead of news opinion, which is what we give you a lot of. Um, we have some good solutions, I think, in the works for that. But more generally, what I want to do next week is actually open up a thread and a discussion where we can really all talk about what's best for the site, how we should modify it going forward, what you want to see, what we think we can do. So we'll have a special session next week where we talk on the site and then in a video about uh, the improvements that you would like to see us make over time. But we're grateful that you like what you see so far and thrilled that you're spending your time with us. So have a great weekend. We'll see you next week.